My name is Katie Chambers. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I am the Director of Shared Services for a global engineering firm. And this is my Signia story. My children had told me on numerous occasions that the TV was too loud, or they would ask me if I had heard sounds, and of course I wouldn't know what they were talking about. I had a situation with my son where he was making a, a reference to a Christmas gift that I had given him. And he said, well, you know, when you gave me those possum pants. I'm like, possum pants? What are possum pants? Mom, possum pants. <laughs> and I'm looking at him, I'm like, and I actually had to ask him to spell it. P-O-T-S-A-N-D-P-A-N-S. Possum pants from pots and pans. You know, this is, this is what a hearing loss does. You have to have hearing aids. When you have a hearing loss, it's kind of like watching your hair grow. You don't realize that you're not hearing. In my work instance, I always made sure that if I had a, some kind of a meeting during the day in a conference room, I made sure I was at the center of the table because if I was at one end, and the speaker was at the other, I couldn't hear what they were saying. If you miss two or three words, you can lose the content of the conversation. I then went to the audiologist and had the hearing test and found out that I was an excellent candidate for hearing aids. At that point, she offered to fit me with a, a pair for a week just so that I could try them. And, uh, and so I thought, great, she, she programmed them and, uh, and I went out the door and I got in the car, it was in June at this point, and I pushed the button to increase my air conditioning and it clicked. All of a sudden, sounds came alive again, which was wonderful. In the beginning, some of the sounds were almost offensive. I remember um, folding up a paper grocery sack and thinking, oh, you know, what is that? But within two or three weeks, everything normalized out so that the sounds were normal again. I found that when I would take them out at night, it was like I was underwater. I'll, you know, I think that was probably um, a greater definition for me of how significant the hearing loss was. So the stilettos, when I first saw them, of course I was fascinated by the case. And the fact that they charge in the case and they don't have to be plugged in, you, you charge up the case. If I'm not in a place where I have to hear and I want them to stream later at night, I'll put them back in the case and charge them a little bit more because I use them always for streaming my television at home. Uh, the clarity is is remarkable and and my prior hearing aids could stream from the television but it was it, it was very different than these the fact that they fit so closely behind the ear too in uh, the shape of it is different um, I've actually fallen asleep with them I, you know falling asleep in front of the television you know out and I don't feel that hearing aid behind the ear. I know that my kids, they're very open about the fact that I have hearing aids. They'll talk about it with their friends. They will pick up my phone and say, yeah, she listens to her music and it goes right into her, her hearing aids. When, when people come up and I'm on the phone and I'm streaming into my hearing aids, at the point that you disengage on the, on the call and they'll say, what, what's going on? And I'll say, well, I stream from my, my telephone directly into my hearing aids, and then they can hear me through the microphone. And they'll say, you're kidding me. And then, you know, start showing them the apps, and, and everyone always comes up and they're like, you are kidding me, that is wild, you know? And I always am hopeful then that it would make them less fearful to have their own hearing checked if they discover that they're not hearing. Conversation in my home is a constant thing. They want to tell you what's going on in their lives, and if, and if you're not engaged, if you can't hear those things, 
uh, if you're on the phone and they tell you something and you haven't, you haven't got good hearing, you're going to miss it. I, I would hate the isolation that would come with not hearing well. I thrive on my relationships, friendships, coworkers. Um, to not be able to hear would be painful for me um, because it would inhibit my, my ability to, have, to enjoy my life, to enjoy my everyday activities. If you're going to be in the game, you have to be able to hear. Thank you.